whoa, whoa, hold on a minute. What if we made this into a double whammy? I know, right, guys? Oh, it's amazing. So, hello! I don't know why I'm saying that, because it's still the start of another video, but really, it's not. I just decided to be special for you guys to give you another episode. Right! Okay, I just want to say, I've read a really interesting article. I think you guys uh, would appreciate it if I just sort of passed the news along. Um, so, apparently in Japan, uh, there was a great white shark captured and put in... Um, an aquarium and uh, now great white sharks first off i just want to say great white sharks are not known for being in captivity for very long and are well they are known for dying um because it it's it's strange we have lots of sharks with ball sharks tag sharks uh get it get why well, i can't remember other sharks basically lemon reef oh, god knows loads of them and they all seem to fare okay in aquariums however great white sharks uh, we have, they seem to just die on you if you go in an aquarium and uh, we know very little about great white sharks Historically, we have no idea where they go to breed um, and it actually surprised um, A lot of people when we tagged one in Australia and then it ended up going down to the depths and being killed by something or at least um it, well, supposedly it's tracker got eaten. It's tracker got eaten inside the belly of something either this great white shark got eaten by something. It was a big great white shark by like, I don't know how many foot, but it was a big one. Um, so basically there is a lot of mystery and we know very little about great white sharks. But this one, um, it, it, it lasted three days in an aquarium in Japan before dying. Uh, basically it refused to eat. It was, uh, it was 11 to, it was 11.5 foot, so 3.5 meters. Uh, and it was accidentally caught in a net in southwestern Japan on Tuesday. Uh, they had great difficulty uh, sort of taking it to the aquarium, but after it refused to eat for three days, it died. Uh, the cause of death is still in uh, investigation. However, I'm pretty sure it didn't eat, so therefore it died. It went on a food protest, but it was kept in a, a small tank with other bull sharks, tiger sharks, lemon sharks, Galapagos sharks, a stingray, and a bowmouth guitar fish, which I gotta say look awesome. Um, so yeah, Peta got on their asses and were like, "How dare you do this? Cruel and wrong." To be honest, it was. I don't think great white sharks are uh, should be in captivity. They are incredibly um, elusive, like roamers of the ocean, um, and they're obviously not built for going around in a little enclosed space, a bit like killer whales and stuff, who go absolutely insane. We know very little about grow white sharks. Ah, but anyway, that's enough of that. The reason why I'm to- Oh, do we have a- do we have a flipping legendary pack to win? Oh, no, legendary pack. Um, so- oh, it's horned. So what we're gonna do to- with this extra one, uh, is keep on doing Monsters of the Deep, and then in another episode we'll do horned, uh, dinosaurs, and then we'll do- uh, the Trudon tournament as well as maybe an infinite pack stage What's kind of interesting is in fact I'm doing all this and doing the Trudon tournament trying to get up I'm doing uh, these other events and I've also got the battle stage infinite I end up not doing the battle stage infinite because I don't have dinosaurs left. They're all used So basically we have in our uh, in here we have our Uranium first ever level 40. I just thought I'd showcase this here because why not? I've never had this guy before. It's awesome. And there it is. Let's zoom in and feed you! Finally, I'll get to use you! Oh, man. Oh, yeah, look at that health. Oh, it looks so cute! It doesn't have a shadow. That's interesting. I kept on- I realized in my previous videos, I kept on saying, It doesn't have a shadow! It's a vampire! But actually, vampires, uh, vampires don't have reflections, and for some odd reason, I thought shadows. Don't know why! Who knows? Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna speed up just one. We're gonna speed up just one air sticks assault. So we can get a level 20 and see what that looks like. Uh, and that's why the reason, hence the reason why I, uh, I got uranium out of the lab. Yum! And we, yeah, it's, it's, oh, oh look at it! <laughs> Who wants to tickle on the belly? Yes, you do! Yes, you do! Right, okay. It's, DNA is not the problem, it's bucks. And I haven't bought any bucks or done anything in ages. It's just saving up, really. Uh, do, and, like, I have so many legendaries just waiting. So DNA is not the problem, it's bucks. But I'm not going to spend anymore. I, like, unless there's a pack. 
that is a good offer or new or something that I think is worth it, that's what I'll spend the money on. I'm not buying books anymore. Oh, I say that and I'm, I act like a right hypocrite. <laughs> oh, wow. It looks like it's got more like, look at that. Look at the detail on its body. Oh, that's awesome. Was that always there? It looks like it's got scratches and stuff. It's got like a sort of uh, striped neck. That looks really cool. Striped neck dot. Striped. Bleh, like a giraffe, except with stripes. But a striped. Oh, it's got more detail on his head, too. Ooh. But yes, yeah, so stripe stripes look really good on long things. Hence, leggings. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that already. So, cave is bad against surface. So, uh. Let's say hello. To my little friend, Prognathodon. Oh, that was weird. That was. Did you see that, guys? For a split second, it glitched out. Awesome. Come on, Prognathodon. We've got the upper hand. I have the high ground, Anakin. I like how fat its flippers are. I assume in the past, like the flippers are very thin and look very fragile. But Prognathodon, or Prognathodon, no, no, no. Uh, has really fat flippers. It looks very chunky. It's quite nice, actually. Oh, six. What you gonna do? I tell you what you're not going to do. Live. Kill it. What's your special? I don't think I've seen your special, dude. Oh, no, I have. I think I have. It's a tail, right? Tail? It's a tail? Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, easy peasy. Beautiful. Look at that pose. That's... I love how they've taken this to like the next level. They've, they've sort of... They know where the dinosaur's gonna look good, so they deliberately um, like key pose it and have that frame ready. And they've really spent a lot more time on the animation. <laughs> I just did it like... I clench my, my hands together like if I get a little bit excited. I've done this ever since I was a kid actually. Um, but I never notice until somebody points it out, and then I get really self-conscious and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I, I can't do it anymore. But, um, like, somebody, it was a video ages ago, but I made that, because what happens is usually this noise gets made, like the hand fart. That usually gets made. Um, I don't know if you can hear it. There you go, there's a loud one for you. Um, and, like, somebody put a time code to when they thought they heard that noise. I don't know, it wasn't the hand, I think it was just me going, Pfft. Uh, but they were like, oh, he fought it. It's okay, Beaver, we know. It's only the hand thing. But I was like, wow, somebody actually remembers that, like, whatever I say, God, it's out there. Like, it's never taken down. Like, you, some guys, you just pick up on these things. That's crazy. It's, it's scary in a way because everything I say online, it's like, I can't take any, or well, I could take it down or take it back because, like, it's just like conversations where people say some things and then they're like, oh, I, I didn't mean that. Um, but it's kind of cool in a way. Right, okay, um, could Styxosaur take it out? Stick, oh yeah, let's do it, let's have a Styxosaur sort of showcase thing. Showcase kind of thing. So, we are gonna be against the reef, so come on, whap it once. And it kills it in one. <laughs> that was a very elegant, you are not worth my time, take my tail. <laughs> Oh, look at this animation! It is beautiful! Absolutely astounding. I just love it's like the camera is having fun. It is just loving being there. The sticks are so... The, like, to make an animation, to make something look like it's underwater, is an incredibly hard thing to do. You would think it would be easy, but it's not. Like, you've got to take in the fact of the way the water is going around the creature, the way it's balancing itself. It's sort of... It's a bit like the snake sort of animation. You have to sort of guide it with the head and... Oh, it, it's crazy. Um, I, I only did a little bit of animation underwater with my seal when it, it was at the end credits when it sort of flies past. And I only did that out of fun because I'd finished my animation and it was basically just rendering. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. I spent ages modeling this seal, texturing it, rigging it, doing literally everything from scratch. I'm going to do it underwater. God damn it. <laughs> and what's kind of funny is I had a sequel to that. Um, like it went through loads of endings. Um... Where, like, they, they reach the other side. Um, like, it's it's open to interpretation. It, like, that's what I loved about that. I really did love uh, 
that animation. And I can't wait to do more. Maybe not 3D. Because um, the thing is, with 3D animation, um, it's not about how... Like, it is about how skilled you are, but it's also about learning the program. It's like saying, um, let's say you can drive a car really well. Like, you're like a pro race car driver. But if you can't build a car, then you can't drive it. And that's what 3D animation is. Let's say you, you could animate, like you're the best animator, but let's say you're not given a rig, you're not given a model, you've got to make that from scratch. You'll be screwed. You'll be like, oh God, I've got to learn all this, learn all that. And that's what being a 3D animator is. You've got to learn, well, not, well, when I was in uni, I had to do everything. Like in professional jobs, there are just animators. So they will be given a, you know, there will be modelers who make the model, riggers who make the rig, and then animators who animate it. But for me, I had to do literally everything. And it was an experience I will never forget. And um, people, like, in my course, it was amazing. Like, every day going in, sort of having, like, general banter, seeing how everyone was doing with their projects, you know, helping. It was, for a better of a word, just, like, an uh, just amazing time that I will never forget. Absolutely never forget. Uh, so I'm just going to use Megalodon, because Megalodon can kick ass of everything. Um, and, like... Both of these jobs are amazingly rewarding. Animation is rewarding for when you finally get the animation done. You feel a sense of achievement. Like, you have conquered the world. <laughs> um, let's play also when you, like, when I see comments of people, like, it just brightens up their day and makes them, like, so much happier. I like being positive. And I, I, it's hard sometimes. It really is. It's so easy to be negative. It's so easy to put people down. But... To, uh, to, you know, there are loads of people out there that will try to put you down because they're down and they want you to feel bad. But, it, like, honestly, if they put that much effort into just being positive and having a, like, just having a wonderful time, ah, <laughs> living in the sunlight, having a bad time, ba -da 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 -da. you know that song, right? Because <laughs> I like it. Who doesn't want Spongebob? <laughs> oh, this Spinosaur. Okay. Okay, Dacosaur, you got this. You are highly at a disadvantage, my friend. And now you're one down. So you've only got seven. Oh, it's not going to go for anything, is it? I feel sorry. If this was if this is real life. Boom! That Trina Carrier. Sorry. Leptic... Lepticlidus. Lepticidius. Lepticidius. Lepticlidus. Uh, one hit kills it. It's going to have three... So we're gonna do that. I don't think Dacosaur can... Oh, it went for five! Oh, okay then. Six, seven. So it's only got two. It's gonna have six. Oh, right, okay. You gonna attack me, buddy? You might as well have. You're not gonna do anything. So one kills it. Factor in that two. And then there. There you go. Done! Megadon takes you out, son! Sit down! Dacosaur comes out. Wants to have a little play. <laughs> it can't do anything. Oh, it went for it. Give it credit. You know what? It tried. It really did. Um, so, you know what? It went for five. It's going to have a few block, right? So, let's do as much damage as we can. Let's see if it does. Let's. How much damage can we do to it? Can we get a full on eight or a seven? I'm going to guess he's going to go for two block. Like, look at that animation there. Look at that animation on the Dacosaur. That doesn't look good. That's, like, I, I'm sorry, whoever animated that, but when it, like, wiggles to the left, that's not good. It does not look like it's really there. Um, and, like, it's only because I'm an animator or, like, that I can nitpick, I feel like. Yeah, I, I can sort of say, like, yeah, you need some improvement. I'm not saying it's, like, you know, oh, it's the worst ever. Jesus, whoever animated that deserves to be fired. I'm not saying that because everybody can improve. I'm just saying, like, that's a bit to work on there. <laughs> when he's just sort of wiggling. Maybe they were under cat time constraints. You never know what the circumstances were. Um, I feel like I'm going to get a, a message now from the person who animated it going, uh, Dude, dude, I'm calling you out. You animate it. Come to Ludia. Come on. See if you can animate that or so. Come on then. I'll do it. <laughs> Ludia, invite me over to Montreal or wherever you guys are. I'll animate. You can say the game and be animated it for you. And then you can make a creature and you can get more publicity for free. 
<laughs> Super rare. Oh, 250 bucks! Also, and 720 DNA. And a Velociraptor. Awesome. Always welcome. And that is about going to have to wrap up this episode. So if you enjoyed the video, guys, don't forget, leave a like. I'm going to put in something that will easy speed up and give me more DNA. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.